Hey guys, so if you do follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, then you will know by now that I have just returned from my fantastic holidays. As you guys are trickling back into the odds, I figured we could talk about travel this month and some of the things that I've learned about traveling with kids. So I've learned a lot traveling with my kids on my own. I want to share this with you guys so that hopefully you take a few tips and tricks away that you don't have to suffer as much as I have in my travels. Today, we're going to talk about the five things that I find to be most essential to traveling and enjoying traveling with your kids. One, sort out your transportation. This means Uber, cars, planes, taxis, trams, metros, boats, uh, tuk-tuks, uh, whatever it may be. Make sure that you have all that stuff planned in advance and you know your option. If you have strollers, then you need to think about that in advance. Oh, what types of transportation you're gonna be using. Even if it's impractical, I want you to remember something really important about transportation. Sometimes we as adults get so caught up in thinking about the actual destination that we don't realize that for kids, the journey is most of the fun. Important about transportation is not just your means of transportation as an adult from point A to point B, but it's also about the strollers, the baby Zen yo-yo. I'm going to put a link below because this stroller is the key to successful travel. I have had four strollers in four years. That's like a stroller a year. When it comes to a stroller, invest. The baby Zen yo-yo is a miracle, and I'll tell you exactly why. The fact that it folds into about this big is magical. Not just do you get to take it inside the plane, but it also works like if you're going in cabs and if you're going to unknown places, you don't know what your dimensions are. Taking bulky strollers just doesn't work. So Baby Zen Yo-Yo, small, compact, you can close it up in a jiffy, throw it on your shoulder, carry it where you need to go, and you can pop it in the plane, in the trunk, in front of your seat anywhere is the best stroller by far that I've ever owned. I swear by it and I swear maybe one day I'll do a video on this but you can manage to get two kids riding on that thing. You might get a few people looking at you wondering like what the heck is going on and laughing but you know what at the end of the day is motherhood. Who the heck cares what you're doing? The whole idea is to survive <laughs> and you know what at least you entertain other people and you entertain yourself doing it that way. So transportation figure that out. Two, pack light. We as moms seem to think that we need to carry so much crap with us. I quite frankly don't understand why I'm doing, but I'm not going to start carrying everything I might need just in case and then be so inconvenienced by all the crap I have to carry that I can't actually move around. Keep it simple. I showed you guys my diaper bag, which is literally the never full from Louis. We only abuse that bag like to its limit, but it is the most practical bag. I packed for a month. What I did was I traveled literally with one luggage. What I did was essentially half of it was my stuff and the other half was divided in half again, half for each child. And that's how I packed it simple don't pack outfits that are like that need too much with them pack things that are practical and things that you can wear and accessorize so they look different on different occasions so you don't have to pack that many outfits for example for going out or for going to dinner or for going to the gym or whatever and then to top it off the most important thing that you carry with you a bag of detergent so I essentially packed like a week worth of clothing and I just washed at the end of the day once I was done the kids were out and I just kept going for a month like that and it worked out fantastically well. So make sure you always carry a bag of detergent with you, especially with kids because you know how they get stuff dirty all the time. If you have kids that watch my channel, this is the time to earmuff or turn it off. There is a TED talk that I watched once and it gave me some of the best advice that I've ever received. It's essentially about how to stop giving a fuck. It's about how you only have so many fucks to give in your life so you might as well give them to things that are worthwhile. Now, as a mom, it is important, it is crucial to your bliss as a mother to stop giving a fuck about other people. It's that simple. When you travel with kids, you know, a lot of people like, what are some tips to travel with kids and, you know, noise and keep them distracted and iPads and iPhones and like, don't make me take a shoe and throw it at your face right now. Shut the hell up, one, and two, who gives a fuck about everybody around you that's disturbed? At the end of the day, you need to do what's in the best interest of you and your kids. That's your concern. See moms like literally break sweat. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. 
Why are you sorry? You have kids. We are all kids one day. If you can't handle kids, move. That's, it's as simple as that. And this is not just for travel, but this is for everything in motherhood. Stop giving a fuck. And I'm gonna put the link below to the video so you can check it out because honestly, it is fantastic. Not only is she funny, but it is, you know, it resonates with everybody. It's so true. We need to stop just giving a shit about what everybody around us thinks. So, advice number three, very important. Stop giving a fuck. Four, I am one of these super OCD, live by a planner, organize everything, blah, 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 blah. I am one of these type of people. I'm not gonna deny it. But there's a limit to that. So here's the thing. Let me find. Okay, so I'm going to show you briefly like the papers, the sheets that I used when I traveled that kept me organized and uh, how these helped me out. So this is something that worked for me. I'm not going to put this direct direct link below because honestly, I can't find it anymore. I find something that works for you. This is just what worked for me. So I went onto Pinterest and I literally typed uh, travel planner, travel organizer, things like that. And so many cheat sheets popped up, it was unreal. And it's type that's like daily, hourly, monthly, weekly, all sorts of stuff. So I had two types of sheets. One was like a one month agenda, as a week, so it was like day by day. So each day, this is for three weeks, okay? So I only planned um, my trips in Dubai and in Thailand. So what I did was I made vague plans, okay? So I planned out and I put on the back of these sheets, like I made a list, so I put like Phuket, for example, and then I listed up all the things I wanted to do. I put down their phone number, um, I put down the times they opened and closed, and I put down what days of the week they were open. So I didn't necessarily, for example, make a plan of when I wanted to go to Tiger Kingdom. No, I didn't decide exactly what day. But what I decided was, as I was going through, I would look at like what's open on what days and what time things open, and I would plan things that were close together. Google Maps, you can find things that are close together, and then you plan it that way. Plans, but this is in terms of flight information. Keep all of it with you on a sheet uh, or on your phone or however, whatever method works for you to stay organized, just just use it, but just don't wing things. You can't wing it with kids. That's the reality. You should leave some time open to just explore and what have you. With kids, honestly, stay organized. So organize your days, organize what you wanna do, organize your flights and transportation, organize your luggage. This is so important. I know so many moms that wake up and they're like looking for clothes and where's this and what is it? Like, why? Why? Just, you should be able to have like a stack of shirts and a stack of pants and a stack of socks and a stack of underwear and just go bam, 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 put it on, there you go. It makes the world of a difference in speed. That way you at least can get down to breakfast before they close the buffet and then you can get out and do activities. It's important tip number one. Once you've planned everything and once you've organized everything, you just have to let go. So, khalas, you've done all the heavy lifting, you've planned your trip, you've organized smart, you've planned your transportation, you stop giving a fuck about anybody else and you're just gonna enjoy yourself. Then you just go with it. Whatever the hell happens, happens. I was also in Beirut this summer for a week, which is awesome. I went with one of my friends and her family hosted me and it was great and it was, my son got to spend time with his friend. And so one day I decided to be all touristy and go to like Jaita Caves and go to Biblos and do all this kind of type of stuff. So I went with my kids on my own that day and um, in the caves, my son literally within two minutes of getting in, he pees his pants, literally standing there in the cave. And I was like, uh, and like the security is looking at me and I'm like, uh, I'm like, so I'm just gonna change him. He's like, you know what, just try and keep it clean. And I was like, all right, like, what am I gonna do? Like he already peed in the cave. And I called and I just moved on. And it was honestly a fantastic experience. Like my kids loved it, so did I. It was stunning. My son later on pooped in a Burger King in his underwear. And I was like, seriously, after just going to the bathroom, by the way. I was like, are you for real? So like, okay, shit happens, literally, but you just, clean up the mess, deal with it, put it away, and keep going. This is for tantrums, this is for food, this is for diapers, this is for shitting in your pants, because it happens. You just gotta go with it. But don't let these moments ruin your entire day. They can if you dwell on them. But if you don't, like those were such a small portion of my day. Like I saw these like stunning caves and I went to one of the oldest cities in the world and I went to the statue that was on a mountain with a view that was just absolutely divine and you think I'm gonna sit and dwell on a shit in an underwear like no we move on we're okay so you know what once you've planned everything to the best of your abilities once you've got everything good to go you just gotta let go and embrace the shit <laughs> <laughs> with the experience because that's part of motherhood and that's the phase of life that we're in now. So don't dwell, just enjoy, go with it, embrace whatever comes, 
If it sucks, it sucks. Your kids will throw tantrums in public in random countries and make a scene and that's, you know what? That's motherhood. You just gotta go with it. It'll always lead to a good story. Anyway, I hope you found these five tips super useful because I know that they are the most important things to me. Um, if you found this video useful, make sure you share it with your friends. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that now. And if you haven't checked out my Instagram or uh, Snapchat, make sure you do that as well. I'm at Falaha Mom on all of them. And I'm gonna put down some links below to the Baby Zen Yo-Yo, that stroller is fantastic, to the video about not giving a fuck because it is like the best advice to adulthood in the world, especially as moms. Uh, and a few other little tips and tricks. So hope you found this video useful. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you check out Instagram and Snapchat for day-to-day -day of me and my little monkeys jumping around. Take care. Ciao.